Now, in just a few minutes, a Nigerian movie, Isoken, will be premiering at the world-famous Leicester Square here in London. It's directed by Jadesola Osiberu, one of a growing crop of female directors in Nigeria, and stars one of the hottest talents in Nollywood, Dakori Akonde. They both visited us here at the BBC earlier today, and I began by asking Jadesola what the movie is about. So, Isoken is a story about expectations, really, about... Um us as Africans and how our culture generally is very, um, it doesn't really permit indi individuality. Like, we d we're not really allowed to be individuals. No, I don't have a boyfriend. And no, I'm not going to kill myself. I am freaking fine. And so this is broken down in a romantic comedy to how there's a lot of pressure to conform to being married. And that's the idea of success, having kids, being married at a certain age. Oh, good evening, ma. <laughs> She's married. <laughs> and this is it's okay. Uh, this is my son, Osase. And so it's her journey to decide who she wants to be as a person, as outside of what people expect her to be. And um, what she wants for herself. Uh, and, you know, what attracted you to, to this movie, Dakora? I'm a mom, a wife, you know, I have kids, I have two daughters. So anything that really, you know, explains um, the woman's position in the society really, you know, really gets me. A lot of women are pushed into marriages, even when they're not ready, um, because of this societal pressure, like Jade was saying. So, it just, and it was romantic comedy, it was also light, but also heavy at the same time. So it was a nice balance. What's it like to be a female director in Nollywood? Because there aren't many of you. I've never really faced that sort of opposition as a woman, I would say. It's been very interesting. Yes, there's a bit of judgment and there's a bit of um, people who treat you differently or whatever. But I feel like in Nigeria, there are opportunities for women as well. Not in the mainstream. We, we could have more, but things are changing. Yeah, things are changing. I mean, and you're a veteran of quite a few movies already. Yeah. Yes. What's it like working with a female director? It's very different, honestly, I must say. I mean, you know, we credit to Jade. She was so clear about the character, you know, her, what nail polish she had on, what kind of hair she had. You know, these are things that most males will not consider. They would just be like, go straight. And you can't blame them because, you know, so there's a certain perspective that comes with, you know, being a female director. In your dream, you know, in the ideal situation, where would you like to see Nollywood? It would be good to see us in India, in, in the UK, in America, not just with our diaspora audience, with a wider audience where our culture um, is seen beyond the other pictures that you see, the war, all of these things. Exactly. People can actually understand. Definitely. Before. I second that as well. I mean, really, we've really, you know, had a knocking, you know, in the media with all the negative, uh, you know, images that come out of Africa. And we're really the only ones that can change that narrative. And so that's part of why, you know, I like to align with certain projects that project Africa positively. If there ever was a checklist of what a great guy would be, Sazen would tick every box. Oh. Ah, ah. Successful. <laughs> Check. I've raised over three million dollars. Handsome. Check. Great kisser. Really? Check. <laughs> Interesting stuff.